these 500 people were all born to the same father, but none of them had ever met their father. So they filed a lawsuit demanding that the father appear in public. But this loser was shocked when the subpoena came. David was over 40 and had nothing to show for it. Not only was he in debt to loan sharks and beaten by gangsters, it turns out that David had gone to the hospital to donate sperm 693 times in the years in order to save money. Because the quality of his sperm was so good, so 533 families were irrigated by David. Now the kids are grown and they want to know who their real father is. So they're suing the courts to reveal the identity of their biological father who can afford to raise 500 kids. David can't afford to have 500 kids in his house. So David immediately threw the file in the trash. But then he picked it up again. He wanted to see what the children born from his sperm looked like. It was a shock to see what they looked like. His first son was a soccer star. David was overjoyed. He immediately dragged his friends to a soccer game. When he saw his son's gray goal, he jumped up and down and yelled his name. If someone committed a foul, he cursed them out. He thinks the kid is only good at soccer because of his dad's genes. Now he's more interested in the hundreds of kids he has left. And it gave him a new lease on life. David stopped deserting at work and took soccer seriously. On a night when he was lucky enough to win the lottery, David drew his second child's profile. His second son was a bartender, but had dreamed of being an actor since he was a child. Just this afternoon, he has an important audition but the co-worker he's working with hasn't shown up yet. If he skips out, he won't be able to pay the rent. When David heard about this, he didn't hesitate to give him his car keys. David stayed behind and posed as a bar employee to cover his son's shift. This man went to the hospital to donate his sperm and not only did he not die, he gave birth to over 500 children. His name is David and he's working for his second son, but the bar owner suddenly came to check on him. Not only was David found out, but his second son lost his job. David told his second son about the incident with the feeling of being scolded, but his second son just smiled and gave him a hug. It turned out that he was successful in his audition and would be a big star soon. In this moment, this man, who had never raised any of his children for a day, suddenly felt the responsibility of being a father until he met his eldest daughter. His oldest daughter, Anna, was a drug addict. When David found her posing as a delivery boy, she was already convulsing from drug abuse. David took her to the hospital right away. The doctor told David that if he didn't send Anna to mandatory rehab, she'd probably have to go to prison for the rest of her life. But Anna had gone through a lot of trouble to get a real job at this point. She didn't want to lose her job, so she asked David to pretend to be her father. She didn't realize that David was a real father. David was touched by his eldest daughter's call for her father. He made Anna promise that she would never use drugs again and that she would be at work on time tomorrow. The next day, David went to his daughter's workplace, but he didn't see Anna for a long time. Just when he was sad, Anna appeared with an umbrella. It turned out that his daughter was late for work because of the rain. David then felt relieved about his daughter, so he kept going to see his children one by one. One of his sons was a lifeguard, so he went swimming every day. One of his daughters was a manicurist, so he went to the nail salon every day. One of his sons is a street singer, so he goes out every day and drags people to shows and they can leave without paying. Another son is a tour guide, so he goes there every day to support the tour group. People think he's a pervert, but David was happy to go and see all the kids every day. He even became good friends with some of his kids. When they got together, David had to introduce them to each other. David was reveling in fatherhood until the day he met his youngest son. What's it like to be the father of 533 children? Some of his kids are soccer stars. Some are lawyers. Some are handsome, lively lifeguards. Others are beautiful male technicians, but he also has disabled children who are born with dementia. On this day, David went to an orphanage, and there was his little boy, Victor, looking at the boy in his wheelchair, watching TV alone with his mouth askew. David couldn't believe that his good genes could produce such a son. Then the nurse came over and asked him who he was. David said he was a friend of Victor's. The nurse was delighted when she realized who he was. It turned out that Victor's parents had visited him since they brought him to the hospital. The nurse asks David to talk to Victor, who is lonely. With a nurse watching him closely, David couldn't say no, so he watched TV with his son Victor. He fed him, he played with him. Slowly, David felt that he understood something. His had already been touched by these children. There was a softness in his disheveled body that couldn't be touched. He loved his children, but he was afraid that he couldn't take on such a heavy responsibility. 
He was afraid that he would disappoint his family and his children, but now he decided not to run away. So David went to the children's meeting place. They had a great time together. David had been a loser for more than 20 years, and even he was on the verge of giving up on himself, until these kids, whom he had never met before, came into his life. He felt the meaning of life, and regained his confidence. So David boldly came out and disclosed his identity and asked his girlfriend to marry him. David also invited his 533 children to witness the birth of his 534th child. Being a mother is tough. Many women are extraordinarily strong after becoming mothers. It also holds true for men when a disheveled middle-aged man with nothing better to do suddenly learns that he has more than 500 children. What would you do? What would you do if it were you? I don't know how I would react. But David decided to take on his responsibility to be a good father and to be his children's guardian angel. David wanted to protect their lives and their hearts, even if one of those kids is a drug addict or a demented child in a wheelchair all day long, but they're all trying to live. David wants to have someone behind the kids when they're down and out. It's a comedy, and as outrageous as it sounds, it's not just a stand-up comedy routine, but it's a movie that will make everyone smile and be happy when we're done with it.